All right, so we are going to start with the parts of the class. Uh, this presentation is focused mainly in the Java language. That's the examples that I'm going to use. Uh, but making classes is pretty similar in other object-oriented languages like C++. Um, so the concepts will, most of these concepts will also apply to other languages, which is great. So we are always going to start with the declaration of the class. Uh, which basically tells the computer, hey, this is a class. Um, and this looks like in Java, you're going to say public class and then the name of the class. So in this example, the name is just sample. Um, and then you're going to make an, an open bracket and you're going to write the entire code within the class and then you're going to close that bracket. So everything is contained within this declaration of the class. Next, we have our class variables. So a good way to think of this is these are the things that the class knows. Um, so for example, we could make variables just like in any other class, um, you know, like in our main method, uh, we are going to have, uh, for example, an int, and then the name of the int is going to be example number. Now you'll notice the private before the int um, and that is unlike sometimes when we just declare variables normally within a method, we leave out that private or protected or public uh, prefix. And the, but the reason we do this is because um, we want to indicate to the program, to the computer, um, the access level of these variables. So public means that these variable, any variable that is labeled as public will be available to any other class uh, within the program. Um, other classes can access it, modify it um, as, as they want. Um, so, and then protected, which you see down here with this uh, example string, protected string, example string. Um, this means that only other classes that are children or inherit in the inheritance structure of the, the current class that we're talking about, any class derived from it, can access and change uh, those variables that are protected. But other classes that are unrelated to the class, even within their, even if they're within the same program, will not be able to access and edit protected variables. And then the third type, the most uh, restricting type, is private, and that means that private variables are completely inaccessible to any classes, anything outside of the current class. So those, those are the difference there in variables. And the variables are going to be the first thing that you uh, basically put in your class after the class declaration. So moving on, then we have constructors. Um, this is basically telling the computer how to make an object of your class. And we're going to talk about objects in just a second. Um, and the kind of the syntax for these is you're going to say public because you want other classes to be able to uh, make instances of your of this class. Um, so you're going to say public and then sample name whatever name of the uh, whatever the name of your class is. It should be the same name. So the name of this class is sample. So public sample. Um, and then within it we are going to basically tell the computer or the program how to make an object of this class. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Cool. And then after your constructors are going to be your class methods. And uh, unlike the variables, which is what the class knows, the methods are what, what the class can do basically, or what objects of the class can do. Um, and these are declared similarly to methods in any other class that you've seen. You're going to have the uh, how protected it is, the, you know, the access indicator, and then the return type of the method. In this example, it is, is an int because the sample method is um, you know, returning some example number, so it's going to re be returning an integer. And then after the return type, you're going to have the, uh, the name of the method. And then in the parentheses, any of the parameters that are passed into that method. All right, and we'll get into each of these in depth. Uh, 